We spoke in a recent cheer about the Sgula of having the safer Noam Elimelech in the time of an operation. And my friend uh, Rabbi Siegel, who I meet often at the Kotzal and watching the Shirem, he gave me the following ha'ara that he had heard that it's only a Tfus Rishon, Tfus Rishon of the Noam Elimelech. And there's a copy of the Tfus Rishon that he received in Lezhinsk. You can see here the small print here. Uh, not small, yeah, small, but also um, Rashi print. And it has the Kabbalistic stars in it. As of yet, I have not um, been able to figure out what's the meaning of these Kabbalistic stars, but apparently uh, the Kabbalistic stars have meaning. If anyone wants to share that with me. But the, um, the Litvish listener might ask himself, as in fact, uh, I got a phone call a couple of weeks ago from a young woman who's been in Shaduchum for many, many years and asked me about the, uh, the concept of going to the coast of Bapori days. And we can really apply it to any of these, any of these schoolers that um, are practiced by numerous people that, like, why should they possibly work? And it's a good question. I did tell her that I had heard from a reliable source that the, the, the Zvila Rebbe davened for 40 days for Shalom Shmadron, the Chazanish said there was no way that the baby would live, and the Zvila Rebbe said the Shalom Shmadron's mother, the baby would live if davened for 40 days in the coastal. In fact, that happened. And But I think the real shots behind these um, schoolers, and again, I'm not talking about all schools. There are certain certain ones which are more logical and more um, c- can come to terms with them. Now, partial amuna I don't consider to be a schooler. That's vitamins in amuna. Every day you're building your amuna. If I build my amuna every day by learning 32 psukim in the Torah to talk about amuna bitachon, I'm not more amuna bitachon. And then Hashem will, I will need less tests in Amuna, practical tests in Amuna to grow. That's not a school. That's a practical course in growing in Amuna, vitamins in Amuna. But something like this to have and to learn from the Noam Elimelech. Now, I myself am a chassid of the Noam Elimelech. I find if I learn the Sefer before davening, my davening is completely different. That's, that's one level. That you bring the kedusha of the Noam Elimelech into the into the place where the operation will take place. The we know, Mar Yushami tells us that when a person studies the Torah of a tzaddik, bring give life to the tzaddik. Spafos devos bekever, the lips actually are moving in the kever. So it's called chavli the garmi, the remaining life force that exists in the person when they die. That is um, enacted and it caused the lips to move. It's giving me life to the tzaddik. Right. But aside that, I think there's something else what I want to share with you today. And that's based on the Gemara and Tainus, famous Gemara. The Gemara and Tainus, the Av talks about the story of the Chuld and the Boar. Chuld and Boar. And uh, the um, Rashi explains the story happened. There was a young woman who fell into a pit and a damsel in distress, a damsel in distress, and a young man came along and helped her. He said, I'll help you if you'll marry me. He got her out of the pit, and they agreed to get married. But she said, how do I know that you'll come back and marry me? He wanted to go to his town first and sort things out. He said, the cold and the boar, they'll be the witnesses, the pit and the weasel. So they parted ways, and... The young man apparently forgot about this, and he married someone else, and had two children, and one of them died um, by uh, falling into a pit, and one of them died by getting bit by a weasel. And his wife said, this is an extremely strange way to die. It's called a Misa Mishuna, Misa Mishuna. There must be something going on here beneath the surface. And the man said, you know what? I remember now that my, uh, it was a number of years ago, it was a young lady who I saved from a pit, 
and I made a pact with her that I would um, I would marry her, and we made the we made the pit and the weasel into into witnesses, and because of that, uh, that seems to be why our two children died from weasels and pits. She said, "Go." She gave. She asked for a get. They got divorced, and he went back and married that woman who had faithfully waited for her cousin. And Chazal teaches from here. Gemara teaches us from here. The Gemara in Tainus. Kama koyach, kama gedolim bali amana. The strength of Amuna, right? Even believing in a weasel and a boar. Amuna is a metzias. It's a, it's a reality, right? If you believe in something, then, and I frequently say this, and I was very happy. I heard it from my Rebbe, this Shmini Atzeres. By a couple of Shniyas, he said the same thing. Rabbi Safrani said that the, ba- the Baal Shem Tov says that it's more important to have belief in yourself than belief in the Bori Because if a person believes in themselves, then they can accomplish unlimited things in this world. Like unlimited things in this world. You can get to the highest, the greatest, greatest heights. Above Atzilis, to Adam Kadman, to Orient Sov, to Kesser, to Atik, all of these very high levels that we're talking about. But if a person doesn't believe in themselves, then they won't get they won't get anywhere because they won't put in the effort. And this is the strength of Amuna. And we all, as we start this new year of Tavshin Pei Gimel, we should all increase our Amuna. Right? Obviously, our Amuna in Hashem, but even more. Our money in ourselves, and this is what I believe. This is what I told this young lady who called me up about the coastal. Said I believe that it's connected to this. Obviously, if somebody comes to the coastal in forty days is going to grow in the kedusha. Just being in this the coastal, absorbing the kedusha, it changes the person. I have to say, the past year I've been dominating at the coastal. I feel like a different person. It's an incredible experience. Right? So it obviously changes the person. Obviously, learning so for. Say for Noam Elimelech, if it doesn't change you, then um, then you should learn more Musa. You have to work on yourself because it's, it's such a holy holy work. But it's only going to work if you really believe in it. If you the, Amuna gives power to something, and I saw the Meiri says that this is really how medicine works. If people believe in it, right? And if we look back in the times of the uh, the Gemara, they were bloodletting a lot, a lot of bloodletting, and some very strange cures going on. You learn the seventh part of Gittin, Mishak and Kardaikis, shaving your head and putting a chicken on your head and drinking old wine. Things which don't sound so logical to the modern medical mind, but to, if people believe in it, really, now, nobody believes in it today, and therefore I'm Moshe Paskins, that it's us to do these cures, you shouldn't do them. But the point is, is that these uh, schoolers, if we'll call, I don't like to use the word schoolers, but these these perks, as we might call them, coming to the coast of 40 days, learning and having to say predominantly melech, right? I won't even say parsh zaman, but parsh zaman, because that's, that's <coughs> building your amuna. All of these things, you really believe in it, right? And when I opened up Sefer Tashbats about 25 years ago, and I saw it says, ever says Parshim on every day, their Panas is guaranteed. By the Arif, the Tashbat's taking, guaranteeing it. And later on, I saw it wasn't the Tashbat's. It was actually Rav Chalbon, who's an Amerah from the Yishami. Shokhanar quotes it. So I believe that. You know, I believe it with 100%. If a Rishon and an Amerah said something, Mara and a Rishon, and it's brought down by the Shokhanar and the brought, then I believe that 100% without any doubt. But if you say Parshim on every day, you're going to have your pronouns will be taken care of. Right? And I really believe the coming to the coastal for 40 days, it's a change of the person. And it's, it was set over by a tzaddik, Gadol, as well known. Bill Rebbe was an incredible tzaddik. Right? So just connecting to that through belief that this will have an effect, that has an effect. Now, if I believe in things which are shtuyot, I believe that eating chocolate ice cream will make me a better person. I, I don't think that that is going to work. It has to have some taken and subsets to it. But, if anything, 
would be vanilla ice cream. But if you believe in something which has taken to it, and it will make you a better person, and it is something that is rooted in concepts of Chazal, davening a holy place, connecting to holy svarim, learning sukkah of the Torah, then it's win win win. Can't lose. But again, only if you have a munna. Only if you're from the Balai Amana, as we see from the Chulda and the Quran. So Hashem should help all of us. All of us who need Yeshua's, which is for basically all of us, should help us, whether it be in health, in Parnasa, in um, Shalom Bayis, or in Chinuch. Um, and as I close here, the Arabs are starting their call to prayer, um, which means that we should also think about that. And uh, we should hope that soon we'll be on the other side of this wall in the um, in the base of Megdash. Again, it's a Muna. We believe that we'll get the Megdash back, we'll get it back. Napoleon said it. He saw a Jew sitting on the floor. And he said, what's going on? He said, the base of Megdash destroyed. He said, how come no one told me? He said, it's almost 2,000 years ago. He said Napoleon, if it's 2,000 years and they're still crying, they'll get it back. And this is the idea, right? Napoleon. Ruach Kodesh Nizruch Metopi. He had um, divine prophecy was thrown into his mouth for our sake. That if you really believe we're going to get the Midrash back, we're going to get the Midrash back. And it should be soon. Amen. Cain. T.A. Ratzon.